a very good evening. You're watching the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International. I'm Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations and good wishes to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said of Oman today on the occasion of the Blessed Renaissance Day anniversary, wishing the brotherly Omani people more prosperity under His Majesty the Sultan's wise leadership and praising the deep-rooted amical bonds between the two countries and peoples. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi on the occasion of the July Revolution anniversary, wishing the Egyptian people more prosperity and praising the amicable ties between the two countries and peoples. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said of Oman today on the occasion of the Blessed Rena Renaissance Day anniversary wishing the brotherly Omani people more prosperity under His Majesty the Sultan's leadership, praising the fraternal ties and wishing further growth and development of these ties. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also sent a similar cable to the Sultanate of Oman's Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Sayyid. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, marking the July Revolution anniversary, wishing the Egyptian people further progress and prosperity and praising the distinctive fraternal ties between the two countries and peoples in all fields. His Royal Highness Prime Minister also sent a similar congratulatory cable to Egyptian Prime Minister Sharif Ismail on this national occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince, Sal Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Gudebiya Palace the Sudanese ambassador to Bahrain, Abdurrahman Khalil Ahmed Afandi, upon completing his diplomatic duties in the kingdom. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's desire to expand fields of cooperation with Sudan, especially in the areas of commerce, agriculture, livestock and food security, expressing pride in Sudan's keenness to develop bilateral ties. His Royal Highness hailed the solid Bahraini-Sudanese relations and their development in various fields, praised the development of Sudan under the leadership of President Omar Hassan al-Bashir. The Ambassador expressed pride and pleasure in working with the Bahraini government, headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, who has played a significant role in solidifying ties between the two countries. His Royal Highness expressed hope that the next era will bear further constructive bilateral cooperation. He commended the efforts of the Ambassador during his service in the Kingdom to support bilateral cooperation, wishing him further success in his future diplomatic duties. For his part, the Ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his interest in supporting the development of bilateral ties, expressing pressure to have worked in the Kingdom, and for the support in the le of the leadership that contributed to the development of all bilateral cooperation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said of Oman today on the occasion of the Blessed Renaissance Day anniversary, wishing the brotherly Omani people more prosperity under His Majesty the Sultan's wise leadership. His Royal Highness sent a similar congratulatory cable to Sultanate of Oman's Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Sa Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi on the occasion of the July Revolution anniversary, wishing the Egyptian people more progress and prosperity and praising the long-standing close brotherly ties between the two countries and peoples in all fields. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the opening of the Mohammed Najib military base in Alexandria and a ceremony for graduating cadets. The graduating cadets are from Egypt and a number of GCC countries, including Bahrain. The new military base is the biggest in the Middle East and North Africa region. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted Egypt's integral role in supporting Arab cooperation and collaboration, which is crucial, crucial to addressing regional challenges. He also noted Egypt's long-standing commitment to fighting all forms of terrorism, adding that this role continues to receive international and regional recognition. 
He added that, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Bahrain continues to intensify collaboration and cooperation with Egypt, as well as other Arab and international allies, to eliminate all forms of terrorism and extremism. His Royal Highness spoke of Egypt's history and its efforts to promote culture, arts, science and education across the Arab world over many decades. He also praised the positive role played by the people of Egypt in supporting ongoing development efforts in Bahrain and the wider region. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince extended his best wishes to President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on the opening of the new base, held in conjunction with the 65th anniversary of the July 23rd revolution. His Royal Highness accompanied President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on a tour of the base, including the Museum of General Mohammed Ajib. During the ceremony, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and senior delegates awarded a number of cadets of the Defence Service Medals to recognise their outstanding performance. Navy Cadet Trainee Officer Mohammed Daoud Sadun from Bahrain was amongst the cadets awarded for outstanding performance.
After that, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa left Egypt, concluding his official visit. The ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Egypt, as well as a number of other senior officials, attended the departure ceremony at Burj Al Arab Airport in Alexandria. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the Kingdom's achievement of winning the gold medal in the World Para-Athletics Championships, currently being held in the UK. National team player Fatima Abdul Razak won first place in the shot put competition. His Highness also congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, his Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Her Royal Highness, Wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Abicha bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Sheikh Khalid dedicated this achievement to His Majesty the King, whose support of youth and sports contributed significantly to making the achievement possible. He noted that winning the gold medal in the World Para-Athletics Championships came as a result of the government's implementation of various projects to create a suitable environment for athletes, particularly athletes with disabilities. He also hailed the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in supporting youth and sports in the Kingdom. His Highness also congratulated the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities under the chairmanship of Sheikh Mohammed bin Daej Al Khalifa, as well as the Federation's administrative and technical bodies on this achievement which was also the result of the Federation's efforts to create and implement plans and programmes to further prepare athletes to achieve. He wished the Federation further success and progress. Sheikh Khalid also praised the calibre of athlete Fatima Abdul Razak for earning this outstanding achievement. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the West Asian Athletics Association and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received at his majlis members of the General Assembly and the new members of the board of the directors of the West Asian Athletics Association, the WAAA, on the occasion of their visit to the Kingdom to attend the regular General Assembly's meeting and Board of Directors elections in the presence of the Assistant Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Secretary General of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdurrahman Sadiq Askar, President of the United Arab Emirates Athletic Federation and Member of the International Association of Athletics Federations, Ahmed Al Kamali, and the Deputy President of Bahrain Athletics Association, Mohammed Abdul Latif bin Jalal, who presented to His Highness the new Board of Directors from the Association's Elections Edition 2017 to 2020. His Highness affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to develop athletics in West Asia hailing the efforts of members of the Federation and all members of the Board of Directors in developing sports in the region. His Highness commended the Member States' trust in acclaiming him as the President of the West Asian Athletics Association from 2017 to 2020, affirming that the Association will continue to develop the sports. He welcomed the participating delegations, wishing them a pleasant stay in the Kingdom and expressing pressure in the meeting's success. His Highness conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa to the participating delegations, noting that His Majesty's directives and follow-up prove his ongoing interest in supporting the youth and sports sectors and athletics in particular, affirming his keenness to follow the directives of His Majesty to further develop them. Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the participating representatives of the West Asia Association, affirming Bahrain's keenness to ensure the success of the association's meetings, tournaments and other activities. He valued the efforts of the previous Board of Directors and members of the General Assembly to enrich the development of the Association. He also wished the new Board of Directors success in carrying out their task to serve athletics in West Asia. For their part, the members of the General Assembly congratulated His Highness Sheikh Khalid on the success of the elections, highlighting the achievements made in the sport due to His Highness's continuous support. 
They also expressed hope that His Highness will contribute with the new Board of Directors to enhancing partnership between the member states in order to achieve more positive results in international forums. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Essam bin Abdullah Khalaf, met with a number of officials in the ministry to discuss the latest developments in Maharak's projects. The minister announced the start of a number of developmental projects in Maharak, in line with directives from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, following the approval of the state budget for 2017 to 2018. Those meetings discussed more than nine developmental and services projects in Maharak, including Old Maharak Souk, Central Market, Busetin, and Abu Mahar Coasts, Maharak Grand Park, and several others. A very good evening watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hibab Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain Oil Share Index closed today at 1,323.06 points, marking an increase of 2.66 points above the previous closing. The increase was due to the rise in the services, investment and commercial bank sectors, and investors mainly traded in the commercial bank sector, representing 57% of the total value of traded shares. 65 equity transactions took place with a volume of 2,251,238. Worth 586,478 Bahraini dinars.